With the concept of solution, and especially electrolyte solution, one concept that people call, refer to quite often would be concentration or solution concentration. However, when you go a little bit deeper, you would realize that there are different forms of solution con concentration or different ways people define so-called solution concentration. And this is what we are going to look at here. The first of these would be called mass fraction, mass or weight fraction. It means the ratio of mass or weight for the substance of interest, the substance of interest to the total mass of the system, total mass of all the substance in the system. And it's a fraction, which means it would be, read to yourself, unitless, unitless, okay? So mass fraction, it's about mass, it's about fraction, which is unitless. It's about the ratio between the mass for the substance of your interest to the total system mass or weight. Let's look at an example of a system or a solution that is made by mixing 10 gram of sodium chloride and 90 gram of water, okay? 10 gram of sodium chloride, 90 gram of water. So what's the total system mass? It will be 10 plus 90 become 100 gram. And let's say I want to know the mass fraction of sodium chloride. It would be mass fraction of sodium chloride would be defined as the weight or mass for the substance of interest, which is sodium chloride, the, in the numerator divided by the total system mass, which is the mass or weight of sodium chloride plus the mass or weight of water. And plug the number in, you would see that mass of sodium chloride is 10 gram, mass of water is 90 gram. The total system mass is 10 plus 90, 100 gram. And then the mass fraction of sodium chloride in this system or in this solution would be 10%, 10 percent, 10 weight percent. Okay? A different way of defining solution concentration that you would come across would be so-called mole fraction. Mole fraction, which means we are considering the amount of material, but in the molar, in the unit of mole or mole, molar fraction. Here it is the ratio of moles of substance of interest to the total moles of substance in the system. And it's a fraction, which means it is also unitless. Again, let's look at a related example. We have a solution or a system that is made by mixing 0.171 mole of sodium chloride and 5.00 mole of water. So it's a solution that is made by mixing 0.171 mole of sodium chloride salt and 5.00 mole of water. So the mole fraction we define as XNaCl, X for mole fraction. For NaCl, that is the substance of interest would be, based on our def definition, the number of moles of sodium chloride divided by the total moles of substance. The number of moles of sodium chloride plus the number of moles for the solvent, in this case, water. Plug the number in and you will find the number of moles for the numerator would be 0.171 mole for sodium chloride, while the total mole of substance would be sodium chloride moles plus the moles for water or the solvent, and it come up to be 3.31% or 0 
okay that gives us the mole fraction and it is essentially unitless because it's mole over mole and the mole would cancel out a third common form of solution concentration would be what people call molarity molarity which means the moles of substance of interest for example sodium chloride the moles of sodium chloride per pay attention per unit total system volume total system volume and it would have the unit of mole per liter quite often because volume can have the unit of liter give the example still related example if we have 93.56 milliliter ml milliliter of cc cubic centimeter of sodium chloride solution and let's say it is at 25 degrees c at one atmosphere containing this solution would contain 0.171 mole of sodium chloride if we have such a system then the molarity or molar concentration would be we give it the symbol of c would be the number of moles of sodium chloride divided by total system volume v total system volume and in this case if we plug in the number the total number of moles would be as what we give 0.171 mole of sodium chloride but the system volume would be 93.56 milliliter or 0.09356 liter and in the end if we punch in the number into calculator we would have 1.83 mole per liter or liter to the power of minus one this give us the molarity or molar concentration in the unit of mole per volume which is liter okay that's the third type of concentration that we would come across a last one that sometimes you would also come across would be so-called molality it's similar but it has R replaced by L molality it means the most of substance of interest for example most of sodium chloride but per unit mass let's say one kilogram of solvent of solvent it would have the unit of mole per kilogram of solvent and let's look at a related example we have a system of solution made up by mixing 0.171 mole of sodium chloride and 90 gram of pure water and water would be our solvent sodium chloride would be our solute but in this case electrolyte solute and for such a system the b which represent molality sometimes we use b for molality b and acl sodium chloride would be the number of moles for sodium chloride divided by the mass for only the solvent wh2o and for such a system if we plug in the number 0.171 mole of sodium chloride the weight or mass for the solvent is only 90 gram so you put a 90 gram here and the 90 gram would be 0 0.090 kilogram and when we do the calculation we would have the molality b would come to be 1.90 mole per kilogram and a kilogram of what kilogram of solvent and in this case the solvent is water so that would be the molality and if you are interested we can do the conversion between all these different types of concentration sometimes you would need the density for the conditions you are interested 
But anyway, that's a way to calculate to convert from one concentration to the other concentration. And we also have um, extra slides that cover these.